Good evening to Hardball Crazy to come back with a video with some awesome cars today. Uh, I accumulated these um, three autograph editions to my um, collection over the last uh, couple months or so. I uh, kind of thought I'd group these uh, acquisitions into one video. Uh, as you can tell by the uh, uh, name of the video, these are all time autographs, so at least two of them are. And the third one is sort of um, not so much stat wise, but it's very historic uh, autograph. Um, and these are all basically on card autographs, uh, slabbed, certified from the junk wax era. But first, did you know today is National Donut Day? So, in celebration of National Donut Day, I didn't have a donut today, but did you know who invented the hitting donut? You know, the, the uh, the donut shaped weight that uh, batters use on the on deck circle to help improve bat speed at the plate. The inventor of the uh, batting donut was none other than the uh, all time great Negro League star, New York MVP, Elston Howard. And this is Elston Howard's 55 Bowman rookie card. Picked him up over the last year. So for National Donut Day, I'm going to celebrate Elston Howard's donut invention. On to the all-time autographs. Um, first one I was, I was looking for a long time to get his autograph because um, maybe Hall of Fame, future Hall of Famer. He was a very good player, but not so much for his player, but his impact on the game. There are people who believe he's a Hall of Famer. I have no problem if he's in the Hall of Fame or not. And um, But uh, his legacy is, um, is uh, very known as Kurt Flood. 93 Ted Williams uh, set. I always like the design of this set. Kurt Flood autograph, PSA DNA certified. And I think this is a uh, finally found one at a price I wanted to pay. Um, he passed away in the late 90s, I believe, or early 2000s. And finding his Kurt, Kurt Flood autographs are, are a little drying up a little bit. It's at a price you, I'm willing to pay. So, uh, this is my first all, um, autograph that I picked up. Um, I, random thought. I would like to see MLB celebrate every year at some point on Labor Day weekend. Uh, maybe celebrate Kurt Flood every year. Keep his name, um, uh, celebrate, keep his name in the known. I know a lot of players know about him. But next each each year have a fan base. New fans know and understand who Kurt Flood is. And the next generation of fans know who Kurt Flood is and his importance of the game. Uh, and um, I can see if MLB celebrate Kurt Flood annually at some point, like Labor Day weekend or something. I don't know. Wear a patch or do something like they did yesterday with Lou Gehrig's ALS Day or do something. It would be a cool thing to do. On to the next one. Next two are all-time autographs because they're all-time leaders and I think they're pretty much all-time unbreakable records. Um, next one, he has two pretty much unbreakable records, I probably. Um, I picked up his autograph. I kind of wanted Hall of Fame autographs. I've been going after the uh, the harder to find ones, but his is pretty easy to get and I got a pretty good deal on it. But they just did a movie documentary on him, Chasing Nolan. And I got an autograph of Nolan Ryan. Beckett certified, the 1990 Donruss, King of Kings, um, uh, Dick Perez art card. I think it's a really nice autograph, Nolan Ryan, nice and bold. And um, it's a cool card to have a Dick Perez art autograph, Nolan Ryan, great image. How you make a, uh, a five cent card, 10 cent card into a. Uh, much more valuable card, have him sign it, right? But very happy to add Nolan Ryan uh, autograph to my PC. Of course, his unbreakable records is the seven career no hitters and the 5,700 change in strikeouts, which is obscene. I don't think those records are, will be broken anytime soon. The other unbreakable record, as I was searching around for Nolan Ryan's autograph, I came across. Um, this gentleman's, and I had to have him. He's like Ricky Henderson, 91 Ultra autograph, also Beckett certified. His all-time records, of course, never be broken. Probably stolen bases. 
unless somehow some way solar bases become vogue again but i don't see that much happening especially with the small ballparks and the big power guys we have in the league but i like to see stolen bases more prevalent but this is a 1991 ultra auto of ricky henderson becca certified and uh glad to have that in my collection ricky henderson Nolan Ryan autographs, Kurt Flood, and uh, 9190 Ultra was uh, one of the first premium sets of FLIR, but 92 Ultra, I think, booed 91 Ultra out of, out of the park, yeah, but still a nice little set to have. Nice auto, and that's my um, video for the night. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.